Friends, in here we will make the visibility setting, which is one of the basic functions. I will show you how to set the visibility in this video. Now, the name of the command is visibility, and it is a very often used command. You will understand that much better when we make the necessary settings. As you know, I had a program over there, so I have made some alterations in my page over here. And now to the left there are the expressions related with the state of the first motor and to the right there are the expressions related with the situation of the second motor. So to which tag was my motor 1 connected to? It was connected to M0.1 and Q0.1 was my motor 2. Friends, it was connected to this. Now what is my goal here? I want to see the expression working when my motor is running and I want to see the expression idle when it is idle. This is my goal. I will see an expression when it is running and another when it is idle. Therefore, in this way you will be able to use this screen more efficiently. Apart from using the screen in a more efficient way, the visibility function is quite practical too. Friends, with it you can place the graphics sequentially and make a variety of changes by making them visible or invisible. You can even create animations with it. You can even create animations in accordance with the visibility or invisibility of an expression. In this sense, this command is important, but right now what we will do here is to set the visibility of the idle and the working expressions we have. Now friends, I have taken the expressions idle and working from there and written them like this. I wrote idle in one of them, uh, this is not something extra. Then I played with this text a little bit using the toolbox, which is uh, located above. So, I have made this and that, you see, I changed the color of the text, I changed its inside color and did some things via these buttons. It is as you can see. I have also changed the type of the edges and made settings like that. So, I wrote them like this, but this is not important right now. Now, after making those settings, I will click on these and assign their features. We see the properties tab and I have no problems with the features and the design in it. What is important here is to add an animation. So, you should click on Add New Animation, which is under the Display tab, and from here we can mark the Make Visibility Dynamic box under the Visibility setting. So, after making the visibility, uh, the Q0.1 tag was my motor tag, and I chose that tag because I want to monitor the state of my motor. Friends, I will monitor the state of the dual tag, so we don't need to make some kind of range here. I mark that because I will monitor the state of the dual tags. Now, I want to see the working expression as a lamp while my motor is running. Look, I wanted to display the working lamp when the motor starts running. So I will mark the visible option which is um, located right here. Then I will come here to the properties of the idle button and then I will make the settings I have told you about such as make visibility dynamic and etc. Then I will come here and select this. Friends, after selecting this, we will select the same tag. In the end, we are setting the expressions on the same tag. Now, the single bit setting should be zero. The only change I will make here is that invisible setting, which I will select. So, let me start my simulation from here. So, let's start our simulation. And I have started my simulation. Look, let's open that from here. And look, friends, it is now idle. My second motor is currently idle. So let me start my motor 2. Let's start the motor 2 via the software. Now let's start the motor 2. And friends, I didn't assign a button for starting the second motor. For that reason, I'm only able to start the motor by changing its bit value from here. Now let's open it. And when it is open, we will be able to see the state of my motor. So let's wait for a little bit. It should see the state of my motor when it's open. So look, right now we will see it. Let's wait for a bit. Look, the motor seems running, as you can see, the expression over there has slipped a little bit, but that's not important. That expression is the expression that belongs to our motor 1, which we have just set. It has nothing to do with the work we are doing right now. Look, let's just wait for a little bit more. Let us change that to 0, and my motor is idle right now. Look, it starts when I make it 1 again. So when I make it 1, the motor starts. Friends, as you can see, 
it displays these in this way. So let me remind you of another thing. Let's remember that before we forget it. So I am making some settings for the operations to be faster. Friends look, now I started that animation, but it started smoothly because the program I am working with has that animation installed. Actually, I need to make that setting because I want it to run smoothly. Look, I will line them up over one another and after they become over one another, one of them will become visible and the other will become invisible. This way we will be able to see one at a time. So what happens when these stay in different locations? The one of them will disappear and the other one will appear but in different places. We want it to be like a signboard which displays both expressions. You should not forget this please. Friends, we have done that so let's go back to our simulator and start this. You see, when I select modify 1, the working expression appears. And when I select modify 0, the idle expression appears. You can make the setting like this. But like I said, the setting about the first motor and the second motor are separated. Here we have the setting related with the first motor. Look, as you can see, you are able to change the set and the reset expressions also from here. You are able to change them via this section. So we have made our settings in this way and we have also talked about the visibility setting. The visibility command is important. You are able to change the visibility of an expression via these visibility commands.